Hello everyone, welcome back to City Skylines to the city of Altengrad. Today we will continue with the places we started last time. We moved to the other side of the river and built a modern residential area together with some nice tram infrastructure. First we are going to focus on finishing this uh, steel bridge. Now this is of course the bridge that goes right into that uh, modern area that we started last time and on the other side of the river, on the older part of the river, it uh, just connects to the rest of the city, right? So that's a bridge that we built a long time ago but uh, in today's episode we are finally going to finish it. So I'm using the same kind of uh, structures or elements like I did on the upper, opposite side. So first we just needed to extend that uh, steel part, obviously put some of these pillars in there as well. And uh, then I decided because this bridge is kind of tall and uh, it would actually make sense so that uh, the bridge itself and especially this uh, this like uh, brick or stone part is going to extend more into into the mainland, whatever you want to call it, so that there's going to be just uh, some ramps going into like the lower parts underneath the bridge and there's just going to be some intersections and all kind of different uh, road infrastructure. But the bridge is actually going to extend kind of, you know, further away from the river than on the opposite side. On the opposite side there is quite a steep terrain. I, I solved it, if you remember, by just building lots of stairs on the sides and some kind of plazas and parks and stuff like that. So that definitely turned out looking good. There definitely is that place still underneath the bridge on the original part of, uh, of, the, of the bridge, on the original side of the river, where I still need to figure out what to do there. But uh, we are going to keep that for some future future projects, really. I was thinking of maybe just uh, looking at that place in today's episode, just completely focusing on this bridge, but I really had no better ideas. So we're just going to build mostly on this side. So as you can see, I already extended uh, this bridge pretty much towards the blocks of buildings that we did uh, last time. So I definitely made the bridge, uh, the bridge very long on this side of the river. But uh, I think it's going to turn out looking good because there's going to be all kinds of these uh, different buildings blocks uh, on the on the side of this uh, of this uh, just extension, the, the stone extension of the bridge. So it's going to definitely give you the impression that the bridge is is not really old. It was built uh, recently. I think I even talked about it with the bridge video, the original bridge video, that it's probably something that uh, in this time period might have been built like uh, 10, 15 years ago, something like that. So it's definitely a new structure. There probably used to be uh, some kind of a older bridge, like a stone bridge going much lower than this one. But uh, this bridge is uh, much more convenient because it allowed probably even the trams to cross the river and continue into the neighboring areas because all the streets that are connecting to the bridge are obviously on the same level. So it made sense that there was some kind of a new bridge uh, that's going to connect it on the same level so that the trams can just uh, smoothly go between these parts of the city. Uh, there were some comments for the previous videos that uh, I'm not really building enough churches. I think I'm building quite a lot of churches in the city, but uh, there definitely could be more. And especially in these modern areas, it's going to be a bit of a problem. I think I even replied uh, with that for some of those comments and uh, saying that there are pretty much none uh, churches from this time period in the workshop. There are some modern churches in the workshop, but like really hyper modern or something like that. Uh, American style churches, you know, those wooden, somewhat modern churches. But um, especially in Prague, if you if you take a walk around Prague into some of these like 1920s, 30s areas, there are churches actually, like modern ones, and they look really, really good. Uh, they look nothing like the medieval churches. The style is very like typical for the pre-war period. But uh, like I said, there is nothing like that in the workshop. So I decided to use uh, most of the Gothic churches uh, in these modern areas because, well, we can always say that it's some, some, some sort of uh, neo-Gothic uh, church, neo-Gothic style. Just like with the church that I placed with that uh, train viaduct video, uh, I think. Um, or maybe I did it like one video later than that. But anyway, th I placed a gothic church in that area, if you remember. And that is actually like a real-life neo-gothic church that was built uh, relatively recently, like 100 years ago, something like that. So it's definitely not a medieval church. Uh, in this place, I decided to build uh, just something similar. So uh, again, another gothic church 
that uh, I'm just going to think of it as uh, some sort of a recently constructed building in this uh, like a historical style, all right? Just because of the reason, like I explained, there are no churches from the from the pre-war period that I would I would really like to to place in the city. Even though that's kind of a shame because like I said, the architecture is quite interesting with these kinds of structures and they would definitely fit the city very well. But this is also very good. It's uh, especially this church in particular, it really does have a nice nice uh, fit to this area. So that's kind of good. And as always, well not really as always, but uh, I tried to make the church just uh, aim towards the east. Uh, so I was just looking at the rest of the churches in the city and try to align it with the rest of, uh, of them. And, uh, and that's actually a good thing because uh, it fits well into this area. And what's really good about it is that uh, it's not exactly aligned, like parallel to the streets and to some of these blocks that are next to it, which is just making it uh, clearer that uh, you know there's some specific orientation to it, which is not exactly following the the style of the road, but uh, you know the style of uh, of the world, I guess. So that that's kind of nice. That's kind of nice that it turned out this uh, this way. Now, uh, we, I'm, while I'm talking about the churches, uh, we are kind of advanced in the, into this uh, finishing of, of the bridge area. So, like I said, on the other side of the bridge, I treated the elevation, the elevation towards the river, using some stairs, lots of stairs and plazas and, you know, things like that. In this, on this side, uh, it's similar, even though not quite. In here, there's gonna be quite a lot more buildings around the bridge. Uh, modern bonds, modern, modern buildings, these blocks of uh, slightly modern buildings, but they will also have to be somehow connected, uh, like elevation needs to be connected between these buildings. So some stairs are kind of inevitable in this place and uh, some kind of plazas like near the stairs or something like that, that might also be a good idea. So for example, these stairs right here are leading to this street that I just decided not to connect all the way. To, to the main level. On the other side I did, but uh, on this side I just wanted to do something different. So for example, these stairs with uh, some of the plaza on, on top of it with some statue and benches and all kinds of detailing. I think it looks really, really nice. There's also going to be a, a tram station right at the start of this bridge. So it kind of felt fitting that this place would be a bit more open. Now, today's episode is going to be, well, a tiny bit longer, probably over 20 minutes, uh, which is kind of going to be and standard from now on, but uh, I'm definitely leaving out a lot of uh, these these blocks. Like I'm just showing you a couple of uh, couple of uh, shots here and there how I'm building these blocks. But um, I built a couple more, and I completely left that out from the time lapse today because it's just filling some of these areas. We are definitely in the part of the city where these blocks are going to be very common and pretty much everywhere. But uh, you know, again, it's just more of the same. So I'm only showing you the most important stuff especially around the bridge and later towards the river. But uh, as I'm going to continue forward with today's project, there's just going to be some blocks that I'm not showing at all, but you will definitely see them in the cinematics. So, you know, that's going to be nice. And like I mentioned many times before, these blocks are mostly about the quantity, especially those that are further away from the main projects or the main focuses of the of the videos, right? So for example, uh, this bridge uh, needs to have some sort, of, some sort of these blocks right next to it that are going to be uh, somewhat detailed a bit more. And then further away, there's just going to be some fillers that are not going to be all that super interesting, right? So I'm not going to be showing those at all. Anyway, uh, I think next week, uh, I'm going to talk a bit more about the plans for, for the future. Next week, I think I would like to do Altengrad again, because I really do have uh, somewhat uh, like very specific plans already for this part of the river, right next to the river. We need to finish uh, that center bridge that's going to be like a continuation of the old bridge from that little peninsula. The peninsula itself, right at the tip of the confluence of the rivers, it needs to be also somewhat detailed. I have a project in mind for that place, so that's probably going to be next time. And then we are going to just uh, continue with that and create some sort of uh, some sort of waterfront on this side of the river with uh, probably some bigger structures, maybe like museum buildings or ministry buildings or something like that. So. 
like I said, I already have that uh, kind of planned, so I would really like to continue with that next uh, next week. We are somewhat going to start building like a large uh, buildings right next to the river on the waterfront and also going to detail some keys, some of the retaining walls and all those kinds of things. So that's probably going to continue uh, a bit uh, further up the river. And uh, like I said, there's just going to be more interesting buildings on this side of the river. This side of the river is definitely going to be smaller. Uh, I mean, the older parts of the city are going to be much, much smaller. But uh, maybe the modern parts could be actually larger on this side. I'm not sure if exactly in this time period, but maybe in the future, it might be a good idea to actually start building some really modern parts of the city on this side of the river. Uh, no reason really, uh, like in spe no specific reason, like terrain or something. It's just, it's just feeling that uh, it might be, might be more suited to the city. There's also going to be some modern parts on the on the original side, but uh, I think I would like to do something more on this one. So now we are moving towards the river in here. And as you can see, this place was completely empty. And I only built those blocks of buildings so that they would not go all the way down towards the river. Because originally I thought I'm not really going to build anything uh, down here. And maybe I'll just leave it for some sort of a park or something. But um, I didn't really want to do that. So I decided to finally just experiment with uh, some buildings. I recently downloaded uh, this one. This is like a modular modular grand building that uh, you can you can place that uh, bigger entrance building then some wings and these corner slightly higher blocks and you can really create interesting shapes and just make them fit to whatever kind of layout you have in here so i was just experimenting with that building uh, quite a lot and i finally arrived at this shape which is which is really nice like i said it just fits the the road layout which is just going to make it more believable i suppose you don't need you are not forced to use the 90 degree corners all the time and uh, it it was looking good it was looking good and uh, this was actually uh, this was actually the the start of the idea that uh, there's probably going to be all kinds of uh, bigger nice looking buildings all along the river uh, on this uh, on this side of the city so that's exactly what we are going to be doing in uh, in some coming episodes. We are going to be just extending this place along the river and add some more more big and nice looking buildings. So this is one this one is the first. We are going to start it right next to to this bridge, uh, past the bridge, further towards the port maybe. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to end this this part, but uh, you know I don't have that many uh, big buildings, so I'm probably just going to keep them for the center of the city and uh, further further down the stream i don't think we are going to keep uh, keep doing these so maybe there's actually going to be some parks uh, right uh, on the other side of this bridge you know on this side of the river but uh, on this side we are just going to build some of these nice buildings all right so we need to do some detailing on this waterfront it's going to be slightly different style than what we did uh, previously uh, with that uh, that old part that we have been actually doing quite a long time ago, you know, next to that uh, terminus station, I think, uh, right next to the river there is uh, there is that waterfront, the first one that we built, and it's looking different. It has those different levels so that people can go all the way to the water. Maybe I'm actually going to do something similar, but only in a couple of places. Uh, definitely not on this one. I decided that this key is actually going to be somewhat split, this divided, and it's just going to start being uh, like uh, much uh, fancier uh, as it goes towards that uh, older bridge. Uh, it's kind of difficult to explain it right now, how exactly it's going to look like, because, well, I'm not exactly 100% sure how it's going to look like, right? So we will just have to wait how that's going to turn out. Now, this building right next to the bridge, I'm thinking it's maybe a ministry building in this time period. Maybe later it's going to become a museum, but, uh, you know, a ministry is probably a good purpose for it right here. So as you can see, the key in front of it is slightly lower than the street level. Uh, it was kind of a compromise because the elevation difference between you know this building, for example, or the street level next to this building and let's say the church or the entrance to the bridge, that elevation difference is rather high. And in order to keep the 
the roads going all the way to the river kind of uh, you know smooth and not all that steep I had to make these buildings uh, make these buildings higher and uh, then make the keys slightly lower so that there's gonna be some elevation difference between those and there will have to be some kind of stairs to connect them together which is actually looking quite nice it was just another opportunity to really create something more interesting and as you can see for example in here that small road that goes uh, to that uh, second large building in here that road goes do down so it's going to be on the same level as the keys so you know people don't even need, need to use the stairs in front of this ministry building for example if they want to go to the waterfront now uh, right next to the entrance in front of the entrance to to the ministry building i built this uh, slightly fancier entrance with the stairs uh, to the to the key and I just decided to use these stairs like symmetrically so that it's going to fit the, the entrance building and put some planters on the on the side and in, in there uh, right next to the benches and all that. And actually something interesting there, I did the surface uh, for for that like viewing area of the small plaza. I decided to do the surface using the stairs. As you can see, it's the same exact uh, stone pattern as used for the stairs because those are actually the stairs just turned around and placed a couple of more times to just to kind of uh, make the surface more uniform with uh, the start of the stairs and the rest of the area otherwise it would be just uh, the regular cobblestone but I didn't really want that so I just used something different and then there's also this uh, viewing area let's call it which is rounded no particular reason for that it just felt interesting to have some different shape in here uh, there's that linden tree in uh, in the middle of it uh, that's just looking quite all right uh, there's some more trees in these uh, small planters right on the key this is of course that lower place in front of that second large building. I didn't really detail that place too much. I was kind of running out of time for today's episode and uh, I figured that uh, we already built on quite a large area today anyway. So that place uh, is probably going to be a bit more detailed in the future. So now I wanted to focus on just detailing and finishing the, the courtyard or the backyard for this ministry building. Again, there is some elevation difference. Uh, I didn't really want to put this ministry building all around this block. Uh, I, I definitely could do that because, like I said, this building is a modular building and you can just uh, create any kind of shape you want. But the building would end up being really large and, uh, you know, these kinds of problems with the elevation would not really go away. So I decided that one corner of this block is going to be just filled with some uh, random buildings, really. Not so nice looking buildings, let's say. And there's just going to be some kind of a fence, which is also going to act as a retaining wall, probably. So I first used that uh, those hedgehog networks in there. And uh, then even use these prop walls to kind of extend it higher because it's just looking, it's just looking great. And then use some of these fake surfaces to really make it clear that that's a retaining wall next to, next to, or creating the border to the courtyard of the ministry building. And then just some, some crap, really some garbage uh, on this, uh, on this part of the entire block. So some dirt and some details like that and uh, just some mud and some trees to really uh, di divide these two areas, right? So I think that turned out looking good. You're going to see that more in, in more detail in the cinematics. Now also putting uh, some of these tiles into, into this courtyard. I was not really trying to create anything all that super special, just uh, create some sort of walkways, walk paths between different wings of, these, uh, of, these, of this building and uh, just uh, just detail it with some flowers, trees, and all those kinds of things. Anyway, guys, that's going to be all for today's episode. Like I said, there are some things that I completely left from the time lapse, mostly just building some of these uh, filler blocks further away from, from the river, but that's not really important, and you will see that in a couple of seconds in the cinematics anyway. So guys, thank you for watching today's episode of Altengrad. I hope you liked it. If you did, then you can put a thumbs up underneath the video, share the video with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And also, if you really want to support the channel, you can become a channel member by clicking the join button below. Enjoy the cinematics, guys. Take care. I'll see you next week and goodbye.